Dude, old bud here. You know, I love my fountain pens, but the Achilles heel of fountain pens is the ink because one teeny, teeny drop of water can just mess everything up and just cause an absolute nightmare. But Lockby has these cool wax canvas pen rolls and journals, as you can see here. So let's see how they do in the rain. And today is a perfect day, classic wet coast weather here in the Vancouver Lower Mainland area. Let's uh, leave these outside for a little bit and see how they do. All right. Definitely don't do this with your normal fountain pen stuff, especially your notebook. Let's come back in a little bit, see how they hold up. I don't feel like waiting out here too long, so let's just speed up the process. Give it a nice shower. There, let's get it good. Okay. Let's flip it over. That is thoroughly wet. Give it one of those. All right. Finish the job. All righty. Let's take these back inside and see how everything looks. So that's a little bit of fake drama because after all, getting your fountain pens wet is no big deal. I mean, you, you take them to the sink to rinse them out and clean them all out and all that stuff. And that's not a big deal to get your pens wet, right? So we held up pretty good. We got a little bit of water here on the inside at the very, very end one. That's the one right at the end. So you wrap it up like this. There's a little exposure there, as you can see. This zip up one, these are from Lockby, by the way, in case, in case I didn't mention that yet. Here we go. This one seals up nice, really, really nice. Soft on the inside, zips up there. You can hear the click clack, that's the dog in the background. She's hanging out with me right now. But this is the big one, your notebook in the field. Now, some folks get to just use their pens in the office. They have beautiful cases. Some folks are out in the field. So here we go. We did get a little bit through the cover. That was extreme. You're probably not gonna do that. That's the first page. Other than that, we did pretty damn good on this book. So even if you leave it out in the water, you're holding up pretty good. Now that's extreme, I don't recommend doing that. But sometimes just going from your car or your office into a building and it's just pouring like it is out here in the West Coast, that alone could ruin your book. These are my current favorite, the Muji deals. These are lovely. But if I, if I did anything remotely close to that, this whole thing would just turn into a soggy mess. These are fantastic. I have been using them out and about. I uh, took them out on a little bit of a hike and stuff like that as well. And you can be rugged with these. You can chuck them in your bag. You can do all sorts of stuff with them. I'm gonna let these dry out because I will end up making a mess. So I'll come back here, let them dry for a bit, and then we'll continue on talking. And we're back. Uh, it's later on in the day. Things have dried out a little bit. I took the bag, sorry, not the bag, the book. I took the book out of the case to help it dry a little bit too. Um, what, why did I do that? Why did I take this outside and hose it down? Well, here's the thing. When I'm sent stuff uh, for free to review, this stuff was sent to me by Lockby, I figure I should maybe do a few extra things that you maybe wouldn't do if you pay for it yourself. When you buy something yourself, you, you really want to take care of it. You invested your own money. You're going to be a little bit more easy on it. I figure these were sent to me to uh, to check out and i i see it as a form of a test so kind of worst case scenario if you're really rough on your stuff how does this stuff hold up if you left it outside and you're like oh damn it i left it on the on the picnic table and it's raining and you go outside and then you get it and go you know that that survives surprisingly well a little bit of water on it but holy cow glad i had it in this thing that's why i do stuff like this i'm going to do stuff to to the things that are sent to me for free that maybe you wouldn't do if you paid for it because I know what that's like. So overall, that's what these are all about. <laughs> a little bit of a different style when it comes to pen cases and you know journals and stuff like that taken around. This stuff is meant for folks who are a little bit more rugged. If you're into hiking and rock climbing, stuff like that, and you still like fountain pens, interesting combo, guarantee those people exist. They wanna take their pens with them when they're up a mountain, it could be raining. They need stuff that's a little more rugged, depending on your work. You you work in the forests, and you got to write a journal and all the stuff that you're doing, and you just, you go, there's nothing better than a fountain pen, man. All I do is write all day long. 
I don't want a Bic, I want a fountain pen, but your work demands something a little more rugged. That's what this stuff is all about. And so now let's just contrast these Lockby ones with say these Estabrook ones. These are lovely, nice, soft, beautiful leather, you know, gorgeous lining that's in there. You wouldn't take this if you're going uh, horseback riding or, or something like that, or if you're going camping and the forecast is calling for rain. These are beautiful, um, but you know, you're know you not going to want to let this get in an environment where it's going to get all soaked up. Like I wish my bed sheets felt like this. These feel, feel gorgeous, and they're beautiful, and they work great. Um, but yeah, for the person who's out there on the go, things can get wet or dirty or dusty or whatever, this is the type of gear you want. They actually even call this a tool roll on their uh, website, a tool roll. So you could put tools in here, other stuff. Obviously, we're talking fountain pens here. So you can put fountain pens, you can have a little pouch as well. I mean, that's a pretty small journal, but you know, if you have a teeny one, whatever else you wanna put in their business card, something like that. And then you just fold it up, roll it up, and you got these little clasps that go around here. So yeah, these work, very simple. I got a backpack that has the same type of thing. Snug it up, away you go. Like I said, just the end pen gets exposed a little bit. Um, with the journal, I think it's really good. Other little pouches and pockets, I haven't used it. You could store some spare ones. You could also use different paper. The, the uh, Lockby paper that they have with these, it's Tamo River. So the booklets they do. So it's really gorgeous paper. This is like the best, I guess it's the best paper you could use. I actually want to do a video. I obtained some original recipe Tamo River paper. And it was over a year ago. Still haven't used it. Been meaning to do the video. I have some new production to more river, and then I got this one. So I want to compare the two because other than this, this is the first time I'm using the paper, and I quite like it. So these things are nice. They hold up. You can also use other stuff too. This is my Muji. So this is my kind of go-to. It's a little, you know, it's cheaper. This is really good stuff. Cost a bit more. This is decent. Cost a bit less, but you could still fit these in here. So away you go. You got these bands. You can hold a couple different journals in here as well. A couple different sets of bands. So if you need a few different ones to keep track of stuff. But you can put your Muji in there. There you go. So that's sort of a nice feature as well. If you want to learn more about these, I have a video about those. And I'll leave information down there in the description. Where is the band? There it is. One suggestion that I did make on this. Uh, actually, well, there's two. One, you have the pen holder here on the outside, which is great. I'm not going to be strapping in my Mont Blanc 149 there or uh, my Pelican M1000 or vintage M400 uh, that I have. Not going to do that. I'll put, you know, just a rugged pen. So this is a Lamy Ion, you know, aluminum anodized body. This would be the type of pen you do there. And there's a bunch of other ones too. Curious, what would you, uh, in the comment, if you want to say something, what would be your pick to ride on the outside? I think a good option was to have something here. So you can have something right on the inside. So if you're worried about your pen getting scratched up, it's a, an acrylic pen or just whatever like that. You just really want to protect a little bit more. It'd be nice to have a pouch on the inside. And then I think they said they're working on these things already. Um, but we'll see. Uh, have a zipper version. So if you really want to make sure you can have a zipper version. I don't know what's on the inside um, as it dried. I don't know if it felt a little bit warpy. I don't know if it's cardboard or not sure what the insert is. Um, one way to help improve waterproofness is the center backing that you have that creates the structure. If you made that out of like a polypropylene, something like that, that would provide an extra layer of water protection. So something to think about, or maybe it's wedged between a couple other layers, between a cardboard and a polypropylene that's in there, that would uh, kind of waterproof this a little bit further. But I like the looks of it. I'd always see like Australian outback kind of gear with this wax canvas. I really like this stuff. I like the feel of it. Um, reminds me of a hockey bag or something like that too, right? So anyways, here we go. I don't know what else to show you on these other than there's folks out there where they say this is the exact type of stuff I've been looking for. Thanks for showing that. Or others who are gonna go, nope, not my style. I like the soft and luxurious ones. But if this is what you're looking for, go check out their website. I'll have a link down below with all sorts of details and hope the right folks are watching this who need something like this. Okay, so that's it for now. I was playing around with this tripod. If you didn't notice, I had the wide angle, so I got like kind of longer arms going on. Bit of a <laughs> bit of a different video style. 
let me know what you thought of that I picked this up um, so yeah this lets me get different angles go wide angle normally I'm much closer and I'm sort of here really really close so let me know what you thought of this one just from a uh, video perspective and as always you know what I always say catch you next time